this year, the victims ranging from 16 to just seven months old. Zanasia Ticey died in a shooting Friday night. Police charged an 18 year old with killing her 16 year old Nico McIntyre and seven month old Desire Hughes died in separate shootings in April and someone shot and killed 10 year old Demaya Ezel in February. Fire and EMS workers are often the first ones on the scene when violence strikes, and that includes for the young people who've been shot and killed lately. Roxana Elias has more on how these workers deal with the traumas that stay imprinted in their memories forever. During some of Toledo's most heinous murders, firefighters and emergency medical services are among the first on scene. Go in the house. Everyone go in the house. Tell every firefighter get in that apartment now. This is body cam video from 2021 outside the Burnport apartments. Inside, crews would find three children, two shot to death, and a third critically wounded. It's an image that has stayed with Battalion Chief Tom Phillips. He was the incident commander that day. When I saw a child with a couple bullet holes about the same size as my granddaughter, uh, they were carrying the child out, and I superimposed my granddaughter's face on that child, and my knees actually buckled. Um, without doubt, the worst day of my you know, 26 years. Burned in his mind forever. Phillips says he hopes he never has to see anything worse, and he hopes the same for his fellow first responders. But it's hard to avoid with four children among the murder victims in Toledo this year. There is a toll, that uh, mental, physical, spiritual toll that, that, um, that first responders go through. Uh, we see a lot of runs. Uh, last year, we were over 62,000 incidents. Private Sterling Ray says the department is working to change the culture of bottling it all up. Somehow make peace with it, and if you can't, you need to get help. And uh, we're recognizing more and more that mental health and mental stress of what we see and what we do is a big thing. It's known as the Employee Assistance Program. It is a pretty robust program. We have one of our veteran firefighters who has a counseling background as well as a pastoral background that is available to us 24-7. And he's very dedicated to, to the, that position and in the well-being, the mental well-being of our members. Because they know what it takes for these men and women to save lives. We do the best we can. That's our only solace is that we did the absolute best we could within our scope of practice and our training and our equipment to give them the best possible outcome. In Toledo, Roxanne Elias, WTOL 11.